Thank you, Jesus. And our last uh, prophetic minister is Lola Deneron, who is going to share what God is saying to the church. Amen. Amen. Got three things. Turn around. Finish strong. I will show you my glory. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord says, yes, I led you into battle last month. And some of you accepted the fight. And as you began to fight, there were some circumstances that rose up and it almost crumbled you and you were afraid. But the Lord says, stop and turn around and look now at me because I am beginning to give you new strategies. I'm going to take you to the second heaven and I'm going to give you ears to hear what the enemy is planning against you. And you are going to hear all his strategies and how he has been trying to change the game. And the Lord says that this is a time that I'm even causing you to look in to his trophy rooms and see the things that he has captured, even the past movements that he has quenched. And you will begin to look at those that have even been put in prison cells in the last season. And the Lord says that you will enter with my covering. He will not see you when you enter in because I will cover you. And when you enter in, I will show you how you will pick what is yours and he will not be able to stop you. For I've called you to finish strong. So get back into my house. Do not run away from the work that is in the church. Reinforce the doors. Reinforce the Levite. Fix the broken places. Do not wallow in the fact that the, the hinges were broken. Do not sit around the, 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 the edges and talk about the allegations against the houses. For many houses of worship are, are due to close down. But do not be afraid that even as the enemy has brought many houses of worship to the courtroom, your enemy has said they do not care about your house Lord why don't you just close them down and the Lord says I am showing you and I'm causing you to listen and to hear those things that he's saying about my people even things that you have been speaking in your bedroom conversations that you thought were behind the walls the Lord says that the walls do have ears because you don't know the enemy is trying to turn things around against you so that he can turn things around even in the church. But the Lord says that the enemy knows that this is a time that my cloud is moving. He sees my cloud moving and he sees that it is heavy. He sees that the angel armies are gathering together the things that my people have been crying for. And that is why I am in the glory. I will reveal my manifested presence in this region, in the region of Georgia. And I'm going to reveal, I also saw like a tsunami Tsunami. It was like a, a stirring in the water by South America. The Lord says this is not a tsunami to bring disaster or anything like that. It is a tsunami of my glory because my glory is coming to erase those past reproach, the old story. And the Lord says close your ears to the bitter waters of the past. Close your ears to the bitter waters of those who have said I've seen that and done that. The Lord says don't listen to them. Those that say I've seen that and done that, they they have not seen anything because I'm still doing a new thing and they're using seen that done that because their life is now stale and they haven't seen the freshness of God and the Lord says that I am bringing a freshness to my church I am going to encounter you the Lord says some of you have had experiences you've had encounters with me but then you stopped and the Lord says there's more encounters that is still coming not only are they coming they're coming in succession and they're coming in rapid succession there'll be times you'll be sitting in the house and you will see a light come through your house and you wonder is that the Lord is that an angel did I see something and the Lord says yes you will see something because I said I am coming so prepare the way open up your doors open up your gates because I am entering in and the Lord says there's a fresh wind that is blowing upon the traditional churches there's some of you have been called to the traditional churches and when you ran out and Lord says go back in you said Lord I don't want to go there they're too dead they can't they can't feel you they don't understand you they're gonna judge me they're just gonna talk about me and the Lord says I care about them you are the glory carriers and I'm calling you to go back and release the glory for they are hungry and they are crying and the Lord says
just watch and see as they begin to take their creed books and they begin to rewrite and say, now we believe in baptism. Now we believe in Holy Ghost. Now we have to change the things that we said we didn't believe because now we have experienced the glory of the Lord and we cannot deny it. You even look at those that have, have, have set up themselves as Pharisees in, this se in the last season. They will experience my glory and some of them will even rip their, their, their clothes and they will begin to repent before me and before their churches and they will say we repent because we have held you captive. We repent because we have not allowed you to see the fullness of the Lord God Almighty. And the Lord says even though the Catholic Church I'm bringing about a new revival and this is a season that there's going to be an exchange between denominations for I've called the Catholics they have a, the gift of integrity and they'll release as they release integrity the Pentecostals will release the fire and as they begin to exchange integrity and fire begins to move together and all of a sudden the church will begin to arise in a new way and the enemy will look and say this doesn't look like the church but it is the church because there are many arms there are many parts of the body and I've called the whole body in and I'm not going to leave anybody so it's not going to be in one place fires are going to be breaking out in multiple places just when you thought you knew where the fire was and you were going to drive to that conference another fire will break another place and the Lord says because I'm reaching into the, the, the byways, the highways, the cracks the places that no, people have even forgotten the Lord says I am stirring up a new flame that watch even this September is going to be a new reference point no longer is the church going to be saying things that they ought not to say anymore I am cleansing your mouth so that when you speak a word there is authority when you speak a word the enemy will back off because he now understands that you're now in alignment with me and when the alignment comes together the angels will begin to fight way before you start even when you wake up in the morning you will hear the sound of the alarm so blow the shofar blow the shofar blow the shofar blow the shofar because as you begin to sound the alarm you will send a confusion in his camp just when he thought he knew where you were coming from you will come another way so arise in this time and do not be discouraged do not even allow the enemy to take a seat if you should take a seat time to get up pack his back and get out of your house and some of you you've been called to be defenders of your house and you've been tired because you've been fighting and you didn't see any deliverance but the Lord says this is a month that there is multiple deliverance deliverances. There's multiple deliverances not only for your home, there's multiple deliverances even for the leaders, for even the leaders that have called in this hour. There's a new way, there's a new wind that is coming about. So don't say this is the same old because you've never come this way before. It is a new cloud that is coming and wherever the glory goes, that is where I've called my people to be. There is a new glory in the house of the Lord, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can we? We're already arrived. We're, we're risen up. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, Father, we declare that we will turn around. And when we turn around, we declare that we have the boldness and the authority to reclaim old mantles and batons and movements that were quenched. We declare we will finish strong and we will no longer sit by the side. We will rejoin and fight the good fight of faith. And we declare that this month we will see the manifested presence of your glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.